Okay, hi friends. Uh, my name is Rich Chandan, and welcome to my channel Energy and Environment Education. Uh, friends, uh, uh, this is very important video for basically for those aspirants who are looking forward to take exam, uh, energy management exam or energy address exam uh, this year or coming years. So basically, uh, in this very particular video, I am going to present the first chapter of book three, that is energy efficiency in, in electrical utilities. So I am trying to explain the entire chapter in a very simplified manner, and also I mean uh, give some tips on. Uh, some of the questions that may come in the uh, this exam or maybe uh, uh, have come in uh, earlier exams uh, in, the, in the past years. So basically, I will try to uh, also brief you on some of the important questions for I mean numerical based questions or maybe for short answers type questions or for objective questions which are important for you. So uh, let's see the content first. So I'll be covering four important points that I've extracted from the chapter electric system friends uh, in this particular video. So I'll start with the uh, introduction on electric system. Uh, secondly, I'll be covering the electricity generation part. Uh, the third will be transmission and distribution, and the fourth will be transformer section of the chapter. I mean, I'll be covering all these four uh, points which I've extracted from the chapter and which are important for you to understand, and uh, which are uh, the different type of question that may come in the examination. That also I'll be uh, explaining you in, uh, in, in this video. Also, apart from this, the important formula that you should remember for solving different type of numericals or short answer type questions or for objective type questions those things also, also I'll be explaining in this part of video friends so let's start the video So basically friends I have tried to extract the important points from the chapter and have tried to explain them in a very simplified manner such that it can help you to understand the entire chapter uh, the electrical system and uh, may help you to prepare your exam if you are sitting for the energy auditors or energy management exam this year or coming years. So basically uh, the intro part uh, the electrical energy you know friends uh, is very important and very essential ingredient for all the industrial and all around development of any country. Uh, as far as the uh, source is concerned, conventionally electrical energy is obtained by conversion of fossil fuels that is coal, oil or natural gas. Uh, also you can use the nuclear power and the hydro sources are there from which uh, the uh, electrical energy is produced. Uh, basically the heat energy is released by burning of fossil fuels or by fusion of nuclear material is converted to electricity by first uh, heat energy to mechanical energy and then converting the mechanical energy to the electrical form of energy. So basically, uh, I am trying to explain this thing in a coming slides, friends. So let's see how electrical energy is produced in a power plant, or uh, a thermal power plant, or hydro power plant. So let's see in the coming slide. So this is a picture of a thermal power plant, friends, uh, where coal is used to produce electricity. I mean, uh, the coal is burned in a boiler where the steam is generated. And that steam uh, is used to rotate the turbine, and which in finally is uh, used to uh, generate electricity so it's a very simplified process of generation of electricity by the coal so the basically what happens is the chemical energy of coal is used to produce steam and that in turn is used to convert into mechanical energy in turbine and which is finally used to generate electricity so this is the uh, entire picture it's a very simple uh, uh, process and you may get some questions related to this process so they may they may ask you how how the electricity is produced in a power plant a very short questions you may get in your examinations friends so this is very important in that point of view which i have presented here so friends they may also ask you uh, some questions uh, short questions basically on hydroelectric power generation so basically they may ask you to draw the entire picture i mean how the power is generated in a hydroelectric power plant or may also they may ask you to write in brief uh, the uh, or explain in brief basically the, the power generation process in a hydroelectric power plant so you should uh, remember this process it's a very small process uh, and also the diagram the way it is produced I mean electricity is produced so basically you may get some questions out of it so let's try to understand the process of transmission and distribution friends uh, basically, this is a process by which the power which is generated at the power plant uh, is transmitted to a long distance uh, and then it is distributed to the end consumers. 
uh, basically friends there are two transformers two types of transformers which are used uh, first one is the step up transformer and the second one is the step down transformer so at the substation one near the power plant uh, basically the voltage that is 10 kV is stepped up using a step up transformer to 400 kV and then the power is transmitted to a large distance again at the substation 2 which is near to the bigger industries there the 400 kV uh, voltage is again stepped down using a step down transformer to 33 kV because the input voltage for the bigger industries is around 33 kV and the 33 kV is again stepped down by using step down transformer by the bigger industries to 11 kV and similarly the same way uh, the, for the medium sized industries and the small industries the step down transformer is used as per their uh, uh, I mean requirement and the voltage is stepped down so this is the process by which the entire I mean power is supplied from the source to the end consumers I mean the power is transmitted to transmitted line to a long distance and then it is finally distributed to the end consumers as per the requirement now friend this is a very important formula that you should remember a uh, number of times the uh, questions have come on this particular formula uh, operative type questions also have been repeated and number of times the uh, short type questions also have been repeated on this particular formula so first of all you should know what is cascade efficiency all about a uh, second thing is the calculation of the cascade efficiency uh, as far as the cascade efficiency is concerned it is nothing but the overall overall uh, efficiency of the TND system from output of the power plant to the end user this is what cascade efficiency is called second thing is the uh, calculation of the cascade efficiency so as far as calculation is concerned uh, in short they will be giving you all the efficiencies from the uh, generation to the end user so efficiency 1 efficiency 2 efficiency 3 all these are the steps of uh, a different at uh, point the efficiencies they will be giving you just you need to multiply them to calculate the cascade efficiency from generation to the end user that is efficiency 1 into efficiency 2 into efficiency 3 all these uh, efficiencies at different different steps will be multiplied together and then you can calculate the cascade efficiency this is what cascade efficiency is all about friends uh, so friends as far as the transmission distribution losses is concerned in the power system so there are in fact two types of losses the first one is the technical losses the other one is the commercial losses uh, in case of technical losses there are two types of losses the first one is the transformation losses and the other one is the i square r losses uh, friends uh, let's understand the different causes of technical losses so in fact there are four losses the first one is the lengthy distribution lines the second one is the inadequate size of conductor the third one is the distribution transformers not located at load center on the secondary distribution system and the fourth one is the low power factor these are the four causes of technical losses in fact uh, you, uh, they may ask you some uh, short type questions uh, or maybe they may ask you to explain in brief the different causes of technical losses so first of all you must remember all the four losses i mean uh, all the four causes of technical losses and also a brief explanation uh, also they may ask you to uh, define right uh, in brief the measures to reduce technical losses so in fact there are two types of uh, measures that can be taken to reduce the technical losses the first one is the hvds high voltage distribution system and the other one is the mfs core transformers now friends i'm not going to explain you in detail on this particular uh, part of the chapter i mean uh, you can just refer the book everything is given there in very simple manner it has been explained there even if something uh, if you don't understand you may contact me uh, friends uh, uh, for the time being i'm not going to explain you in detail just uh, have used it as a reference here friends now as far as the commercial losses is concerned uh, basically there, there are three types of commercial losses the first one is the meter reading the other one is the metering and the third one is the collection efficiency and uh, again uh, as far as the measures to reduce commercial losses is concerned so in fact there are different types of measures that can be taken the first one is the accurate metering that is the metering should be proper the second thing is the appropriate range of meter with reference to connected load the third one is the installation of electronic meters where TOD a temper proof and remote reading facility is, uh, is there in the meter metering system the fourth one is the intensive inspections the four, fifth one is the compulsory metering the sixth one is the energy audit that can be done and also the eradication of theft so all these are the measures which can be taken to reduce commercial losses so again friend i'm not going to explain you in detail you can refer to the uh, book uh, everything is given in a very uh, simple manner even if something is missing or if you're not understanding there you may uh, contact me as a uh, i mean to understand in a better way uh, for the time being i have just uh, uh, put it here to uh, uh, highlight it and i just use as a reference friends for your understanding now this is an important formula that you should remember 
uh, for the estimation of AT and C losses that is aggregate technical and commercial losses number of times uh, questions have come on this formula so you should first of all remember the formula and the calculation of the AT and C losses uh, the formula is uh, for calculation of AT and C losses is a uh, 1 minus uh, billing efficiency into correction efficiency into 100 so first of all you should know what is billing efficiency and the other one is the, uh, you should know the collection efficiency the formula for the billing efficiency is a uh, percent billing efficiency is the total units sold by total input into 100 and the formula for the collection efficiency percentage is the revenue collected by amount billed into 100 so these are the two formulas that you should remember uh, to calculate the uh, AT and C losses so uh, the number of times the questions have come from this formula and this may be helpful for you to uh, solve the um, objective question also and also the short type questions friends so now let's try to uh, understand the transformer part friends so basically i'm not going to explain you everything one of the important points and the part of the chapter which is important for you to understand uh, which may come in the examination as a short question or a, in a uh, part of long question or some formulas which will be helpful for you to solve the numericals so those things only i'm going to uh, i mean uh, explain you in this part of the video friends uh, friends in the transformer part uh, first of all you must remember the difference of the transformer which is the transformer is a static device which can transfer power that is accept at one voltage and deliver at another voltage without changing its frequency this definition you must remember you may get some uh, questions short questions uh, uh, regarding the definition of the transformer apart from this also you must know the types of transformers so there are basically two types of transformers one is the power transformer the other one is the distribution transformer the power transformers are used in transmission network of higher voltages deployed for step up and shut down transformer uh, application 400 kV, 200 kV, 110 kV, 66 kV, 33 kV. All these are power transformers, and also you must know the distribution transformers, which are like uh, for lower voltage distribution networks as a means to end user connectivity. So 11 kV, 6.6 kV, all these are uh, distribution transformers. So they may ask you a short question on power transformers uh, types, uh, or maybe they may uh, types of transformers, or they may ask you to ask short questions on, uh, I mean, difference between the power transformers and the distribution transformers. So these type of questions you may expect uh, in the uh, in the case of transformer section of the chapter, friends. Uh, apart from this, also you may get some question on the rating of transformer. If you, uh, why the transformer rating is in kVA? Uh, that's also can be explained. You can get some small questions, uh, shorter questions on this particular topic. Apart from this, also you may get expert some uh, questions on diversity factor they may ask you to define diversity factor or what is the formula of uh, diversity factor uh, on this this is also you may get some questions a uh, short type questions on diversity factor factor calculation which is the ratio of the overall maximum demand of the plant to the sum of the individual maximum demand i'll be explaining this part of the uh, diversity factor in, uh, in other slides my friends so uh, for the time being you must remember uh, that in the transformer section you must be uh, be uh, ask some questions like type of transformers and the rating of transformer apart from this you must also remember the diversity factor definition as well as the formula of the diversity factor which is the ratio of um, uh, maximum overall maximum demand by the sum of individual maximum demand on this formula also you may get some questions short type questions or maybe objective type questions friends uh, so friends also you must express some questions on transformer losses and efficiency uh, first thing you must remember they may ask you some objective questions i mean what is the uh, transformer efficiency so you must remember that the transformer efficiency can vary from 96 to 99 percent so they may ask you as a fill up blank or maybe they may ask you uh, objective questions on this particular uh, topic so also the efficiency of the transformer not only depends on the design but also on the effective operating load so they may ask you some fill up the blanks type of questions on this particular topic uh, on, on transformer efficiency apart from this they may ask also on the types of uh, transformer losses that is no load loss and uh, load loss so basically load no load loss also is called the core loss is a power consumed to sustain the magnetic field in the transformer's steel core this is the definition of the no load loss and also load loss is the uh, also called copper loss is associated with the full load current flow in the transformer windings copper loss is power lost in the primary and secondary windings of a transformer so basically they may ask you to differentiate between the no load loss and the load loss this type of question you may expect also if uh, uh, they may ask you the two types of or different types of transformer losses so you may expect questions on uh, transformer efficiency and transformer losses friends so now friends these formulas are very important to remember uh, maybe you can get some questions like objective type questions or maybe short answer type questions or some numericals based on these formulas so the formula is to calculate the total transformer losses where the no load loss and the full load loss will be given to you and maybe the percent load load also will be given to you and then they may ask you to calculate the uh, total transformer losses the formula is total transformer losses is equal to uh, no load loss plus percent loading square into full load loss or friends maybe they will not give you the percent loading they may ask, will only give you the uh, transformer loading 
so in that case the formula will be uh, total transformer loss is equal to no load loss plus uh, kva load by rated kva load square into full load loss so basically the kva load by rated kva is nothing but the person loading calculation so in this way also you can be get some questions so you can expect two type of questions here objective type questions and the short answer type questions from these two formulas so it's very important you to remember these formulas friends now this is also important part of chapter friends where you may be asked to briefly explain the parallel operation of transformer so there may be two types of question first thing is the why there is the need of parallel and why what is parallel operation of transformer and second is the why there is need of parallel operation of transformer so as far as the parallel operation of transformer is concerned it's nothing but the connecting of two or more transformers on a common bus bar that's what we call it as a parallel operation of transformer the second thing is why it is needed to connect uh, in, in parallel so first of all uh, there may be non availability of a single last transformer to meet the total load requirement this is the reason why parallel operation transformer is, is taken into use second thing is the power demand may have increased over time the third one is the to ensure improved reliability and the fourth is the to reduce the spare capacity so these are the four reasons which may you may be asked to explain in brief uh, for the parallel operation of transformer so you may expect to uh, you may expect two types of questions so first one is the what is parallel operation transformer the second is why it is required to have the parallel operation transformer so you may expect a brief or short type questions on this part of the chapter friends first you may also get some questions on a uh, condition of parallel operation in fact the you may expect to have some uh, brief uh, or short type questions on condition of parallel operation so uh, there are four basically there are four Uh, conditions of parallel operation the first one is the uh, voltage ratio must be same the second one is the, uh, the unit impedance of each machine should be same third one is the polarity must be same and the fourth is the phase sequence must be same so these are the four uh, i mean four conditions for parallel operation that you must remember and you may expect some questions uh, i mean uh, short type questions on this particular topic friends and also diagram also you should remember uh, which you, uh, you may be asked to uh, uh, explain uh, with the help of diagram in the short answer type question friends uh, so that's all for today friends uh, i have covered uh, some part of the chapter in this particular uh, video this is the end of the part a and uh, the other part of the chapter will be covered in the uh, other video uh, that is part b which i am going to i mean post in, in, in just few days so just stay connected with me friends and uh, i'll be posting the second part of the video soon so stay connected with me friends uh, if you have any queries if you have any suggestions You may straight away uh, connect with me. Uh, this is my email ID: chandanshuddhi07 at gmail dot com. Also, this is my mobile number: nine three five four zero nine five one six seven. So, if you have any suggestions on this particular video or coming videos or any on the content, uh, so if you have any suggestions or if you have any inputs or if you have any uh, queries, so you may just straight away uh, mail me or you can call me on this number. Uh, also, uh, I have a website: techministries dot com. There also you can go and uh, read some blogs that I have already posted. I have also. I'm going to post in coming days. Uh, this is my website, techmistress.com. And so, last one of these friends, uh, do subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to uh, make more such videos and post uh, in coming days. And apart from this, also press the uh, bell icon so that you get the notification as soon as I post uh, the other videos. Uh, also, please to share the videos to your friends, to colleagues, and to whomever you think uh, this will help them to prepare for the examination. So, uh, please share the videos, friends. and that's all for today and thank you friends so for you watching the video and let's meet in the next video friends